All right, we're back at it again. Uh, all of these jigs are going to backwater bass. Like I said it's a young man in Tennessee. He's a high school competitive angler. And uh, anyway, he reached out to me. So this is the bluegill head we discussed. And then uh, the skirt I made and put on there. Okay, nice and poofy. But what I was going to show y'all for the rest of it and for this young man, okay, this is not a chatterbait. Okay, I can't use that word. Um, no one actually can. Um, if you're selling stuff and this, that, and other, this is a bladed, vibrating jig. The way you make it that way is you take one of these little metal lips, all right, you put a split ring on it, and you can attach it to the head right there, and you're perfectly legal. Ask me how I know. Z-Man's representative and I had a nice long chat about it. Uh, but anyway, like I said, this is the blade. It's a little flat blade. Mine happen to have holes in them because I like them. Make a little noise. And then I put a little bend in them, kind of help with the vibration, you know, add some uh, a little bit more zing to it. But anyway, you can add that on there, and then you have a vibrating, bladed jig. You can put it on, you can take it off, whatever. However you want to do it, you want to customize it. So, you know, I have powder-coated some, um, playing around with them, and uh, they seem to do pretty good. So, and then, of course, like I said, we have the, um, the rattles I put on this one, and... Uh, you know, when that thing comes through the water, but you take those rattles and the jig on it, and uh, you got yourself a fish a fish catcher there, and uh, there's nothing else you'll annoy the crap out of them. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show that, and um, oh, you know what? This young man had asked me about, well, y'all, my grandson was here the, the other day, so stuff gets uh it, it well stuff gets gone it gets moved uh, you know who knows what uh so but i think about it and then i'm like oh well where'd it go to um his mom is just as bad she'll pick stuff up and walk away with it all right anyway it's not finished but this is a buzz bait that also i've started making and uh you know They'll have beads on it. Uh, they'll have another little blade here. And uh, I had one all decked out and ready to go. And uh, like I said, it's currently misplaced. So I will have to do another. Anywho, I just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. Um, oh, look at here. All right. Again, got to put the back hook on it, but got some beads on here. Uh, I like just red and green, you know, just varies. Uh, I'll do different color blades. I've got uh, purple, silver, red, lime green, chartreuse. Um, hell, if I don't have it, I can powder coat it and get it that way. Um, these are junk blades that I was, again, goofing off and playing with and trying some different things and uh, got some gold ones and whatnot. But that is it. That's all I've got for now. Uh, you guys be sure and check out um, Eric Massey Jig Company. Man makes some incredible, I mean incredible, crappy jigs. I'm from this, I say crappy. Some of y'all say crappie, I say crappy, whatever. Crappy jigs. That's when I come from, the crappy jigs. But he hand ties these things. You know, I have I have sent him some jigs here and there, um, but he he makes the majority of his own, paints them him and his son, and then he ties these things up. And I'm telling you, I can watch this man for hours tying these things up. It, to me, it's just it's it's artwork. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but y'all check him out, Eric Massey Jig Company, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Um, wow, that's all I can say. And uh, S D G customs um that guy also ties up some jigs most of his are bass jigs but he has moved into and started making some of the crappy jigs and posted but 
wow, again, I mean, this guy comes up with some, some crazy stuff. So uh, y'all be sure and check them out. And uh, y'all have a good weekend, and hopefully the rain will stop soon. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, see, these are three eighths ounce jig heads with a number four trocar hook, and they have the bait keepers on them uh, for the plastics. Uh, if you don't like them, you can always pop them off or straighten it out. You know, six one. But that is the uh, bluegill, and then this is the summer crawl pattern. And these are going to be some fish catching machines. For real, that's it. Peace.